follow the sounds of drums from this unassuming corner in Denver, you'll soon feel like you've been transported 6,000 miles away. From Mali, uh, West Africa, M-A-L-I. Abdul Dumbia and his sister, Jenaba Sako, came to the U.S. decades ago to share their passion. African dance. You know, is uh, something very important. The joy that comes from sharing their culture is contagious. If I'm dancing, my body happy, my mind happy. I forgot everything. <laughs> everything. That's my medicine. One, two. In class, Sako doesn't speak much. English is not easy, <laughs> but I'm trying. But her students will tell you the impact she's making in this studio is loud and clear. Jennifer is a powerhouse. She's a firecracker, as you can see. But she's also humble. She is so knowledgeable. She's got wisdom. She is a queen. And she is to be revered. Leah Porter has been taking classes from Sako for decades. My lineage is Nigeria. Of course, I am born and raised in Denver, so I just needed to touch and feel any part of that that was available to me as a resource here. Despite your background, all are welcome here. White, black, any color. <laughs> welcome to African dance. I was lucky enough to find when I moved to the Denver area that we have these like cultural gems right here in our community. And while learning African dance as a beginner isn't easy. It's not competition, it's a school. Dancing is in school. She hopes people come on in, take off their shoes, and try. Because you come for different culture and learning and traditional, you'll be happy. In Denver, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7.